Uh, this second example here, uh, it's a little bit different. So for this example, you're asked to actually derive a relationship between saturated unit weight and a number of uh, other basic definitions. Okay. So you're not asked to calculate the values, but, also, but rather to derive this uh, expression. And I'm going to show that you can do this with phase diagram as well. So you can use phase diagram to derive any relationships. So that's why I say this is a very important and useful tool uh, to learn. You don't have to memorize all these complicated relationships. As long as you know the six basic definitions, as long as you know phase diagram, you're all set. So for example here, this is a saturated so remember for saturated soil, there are only two phases here. So we have two phases, solid and water. Okay. So we are going to derive this relationship uh, between gamma saturate and three quantities here. So basically you are given moisture content, specific gravity and unit weight of water and you are asked for saturated unit weight. So that's what really this example is about. So we have this phase diagram, and remember we have the weight and volume side. So I put weight side on the left, volume side on the right hand side. Okay. So first, um, uh, this is an example where everything is given in term of ratios. So this is one of the key points uh, in that uh, the list of keys to solve weight volume relationship problems. So everything here is given in terms of ratio. Water content is a ratio, specific gravity is a ratio, unit weight of water ratio, saturated unit weight also ratio. So for that, it's actually safe to assume either the volume of the solid or the volume, the total volume being one. So we can assume okay. so this is our assumption here. So we can safely assume the volume of the solid is one or the total volume is one if everything is given in terms of ratios. Okay. So this is okay if everything is in ratio. Or given as ratios, um, in terms of ratios. Okay. So remember all the quantities here, all these unit weight, they are ratios, so we can do this. And then once you have volume of the solid uh, is one, and then the next is to try to figure out all the other weights and volume on this phase diagram. Okay. So for this example, I'm going to actually start with the weight side. So for uh, volume uh, for the solids, because we are given specific gravity, Specific gravity is defined as gamma S over gamma water. And then gamma S is weight of solid over volume of solid, and then gamma water. So we're given GS, and we have assumed Vs equals to one. So this means we can derive this weight of solid in terms of GS, Vs and gamma water, okay. and Vs is one by our assumption. Okay. So we have this weight of solid on the phase diagram expressed in terms of Gs and gamma W. Okay. So that's the first piece of information. That's a weight of a solid. And then the, we are also given water content, so we can uh, make use of this water content definition. I'm sorry. It's water. Okay. So water content is defined as weight of water over weight of solid. And now we know weight of solid. So we can express weight of water as moisture content times weight of solid. Okay. And weight of solid is Gs times gamma W. So we have the weight of water here. Okay. So that's the second piece of information. Okay. 
And the only piece of information left is the volume of water. Okay. So volume of water, because we know the weight of water and unit weight of water is a constant where it's given here, then the volume of water is basically weight divided by the unit weight. Okay. And to show this, just use the uh, unit weight of water definition. And if you substitute uh, the weight of water, um, we get, let's see, WGS. Okay. So that's a complete phase diagram. So we have completed this phase diagram. We have all the weights and volume for all phases. And then the next is just basic definition. Here we are asked for saturated unit weight. And saturated unit weight Remember, this is one of the six basic definitions, is total weight over total volume. Okay. And total weight is basically weight of water plus weight of solids. So if you substitute these expressions, that's weight of water plus weight of solid. Again, all these are from that phase diagram we just completed, divided by this is uh, volume, which is WGS plus one, okay. And then if you factor out that GS times gamma water, you get the expression you're asked for, this is. So if I just factor out that GS gamma W, So that's the example two here. Again, we are making use of the phase diagram to basically derive this, this seemingly complicated relationship. Okay. So the key again is that phase diagram. Once you filled out that phase diagram, everything else is basic definitions.